Hello everybody, welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of my new testing equipment. So for those of you who've seen our previous videos, you might have noticed that I have a mega um, multifunction tester, which I'm really happy with, to be honest. Um, it's, it's simple to use, um, feels pretty hardy. I've never had an issue with it. It's gone through calibration a number of times now, um, and it's always been good. So yeah, I've got that. And uh, then I have a Metrel EVSE adapter. I used to have a Rolex one, um, had tons of problems with that and I ended up returning it um, and then I ended up buying the Metrail one which I was much much happier with to be honest um, and it's <laughs> about uh, 20 times smaller than the Rolex one so yeah but uh, I was at a trade show recently and I saw this set up and got to have a go on it um, it was an open air trade show on a local um, electrical distributors car park um, so I thought I'm going to give this a go um, so one of the reasons for buying both is not just to buy something um, because we've got somebody else starting with us at some point we're going to need more than one uh, setup for EV testing so so this means that we have a bit of um, backup in case we have a problem with one of our testers or something breaks or we drop something or when we put it in for calibration at the moment, I have to get a real quick turnaround on calibration. So this gives us um, sort of, we're duplicating our equipment. So um, we've got redundancy, but then, you know, when there's two of us working on different jobs as well, we can also um, do our testing independently. So yeah, and I thought this was um, at the trade show, it was going for a reasonable price. So I thought I'd, uh, try them out. So we've got the QTEC EVSE adapter, QEVSE. Um, I'm expecting this to just work as it should. Uh, they're fairly simple devices really. So it tricks the charger into thinking that the uh, a car is plugged in and then it closes the contactors and we can test through that closed circuit. And then there's the multifunction tester um, this has got a couple of extra things on it. I did like the way the menus work. Um, like I said, the Mega is quite simple in the way it works, but there's something nice about um, the sort of LED display um, and the way all the data is presented to you that's nice. And then this has got a couple of extra um, things that it does in terms of the RCD testing. So you can do your DC current detection so you can test type B RCDs on the DC side and not just the AC side. So, um, yeah, this gives us a little bit more scope. We can test for more things that we kind of future-proofed a little bit more should the regs change um, and become more stringent on exactly what testing needs to be done. So there you go. Let's unbox them. Okay, so we've got a nice little sort of soft case. Apologies, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm hoping I don't break the zip. Okay, that's nice. It's a nice size. A little bit smaller than the Metrail one. Bit more room in the case than the Metro one, um, so <laughs> I'll probably get a, end up getting filled with a few bits and pieces, uh, like my voltage tester or something. Um, so on this end, obviously we've got the Type Two plug, which should look familiar to anybody with an EV. And then on the business end, very, very similar. So um, we can do uh, ah, 
Brilliant. Okay, so I was just wondering where that was. So, yeah, there's a, you can we use a, the three pin puller kettle lead to go into the uh, back of our tester to do single phase circuits. And then we can do the three phase testing on these ports here using the, um, the normal leads. Um, then we've got the different ambratings um, for outputting the signal. And then the different states for the vehicle. Um, so, yeah, charging. Looks like on but not charging. Okay, and that's with the fan state. And it looks like there's a button. Ah, okay, so different to the Metro, which um, it has an E setting, which replicates the error to make sure the charger stops charging if there's an error. Um, looks like you press that and it replicates the um, control pilot error signal on a PE error. Okay, so that, that's nice. Well, I have to do some reading on exactly what the touchpad does. I'm guessing it's some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of uh, earth fault. But yeah, looks nice. Okay, and on to the uh, multifunction tester. Open that. So I have obviously seen these a few times before. One thing I do like about these Q-Tech devices, I think the cases are, are quite nice on them. Okay, yeah, nice separate bag for the test leads. Uh, we'll go through those in a bit. And then the tester itself is quite small. I guess it's fatter than the uh, the Mega, but smaller. I like the idea of the lid to protect the face because if that ends up loose um, in the vehicle, it means the LED display is completely uh, protected. That's a nice feature. Whether it'll get annoying and get in the way. Ah, nice. It folds underneath. Okay. Um, and nice rotary switch here for all the different uh, test regimes you can do. Ah, okay. So you can, looks like you can lock the device or test it. So I suppose that's useful uh, if you've got it hooked up and you want to do an insulation resistance test but uh, don't want to accidentally trigger it or maybe to leave it running so you can go and Again, I need to do some reading and find out. So today, we're going to introduce you to an activity ironically named Follow the Instructions. Looks like we get a bunch of documentation, which I'll try and read at some point. Uh, and some batteries. So we're going to need some batteries. And then the usual bits and pieces. Straps, so on. And it looks like optical adapter. So yeah, it's one of the things we pride ourselves on is keeping up to date with the latest technology. Um, you know, keeps us ahead of the competition. Okay, so, checked out the manual, figured it all out. Hell, it's about time. Um, and I've been using it for about a week now, um, which is handy because my other tester's been in for calibration, my mega pass calibration, very happy. Um, so, firstly the EV tester, very pleased with that, um, works great. Still getting used to a couple of things, but it's got this nice uh, PE 
pre-test on. So you put your thumb on the pad and it gives you an indication of if uh, there's any unsafe voltages on the earth. So the idea being um, you, you use that to determine that there's everything safe before you touch anything metallic and start doing all your testing on the uh, with the with the EVSE tester itself and the testing unit. So that's a really nice feature. Um, it's just an extra safety measure to make sure you're safe before you start doing any of your testing. So I like that. I like the tester. It's great. So now coming to the QTEC. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. There's a lot of things it's doing. Um, obviously, this has got the EV RCD testing function. So it's type A, type B uh, and type EV RCDs. It will test them, um, so my Mega doesn't do that, so I can test all the additional sort of DC leakage functionality on the testing units. So that's really good. It means I'm testing everything we're installing, so I'm happy with that. Um, I've noticed the screen has actually got a little bit of a scratch. Now I know it's got the cover on it, but obviously at some point I've many, I don't know if you can even see that, the screen, it's just got this scratch on it that I didn't have before. So obviously I've scraped it at some point. So the screen isn't totally hard. It might polish out, I don't know. Um, but uh, the Mega's more of a plastic screen, so it just it's pretty well grubby anyway. But yeah, it, I was a little bit annoyed when that first happened that it scratched so easy. I don't even remember doing it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so the one thing that surprised me is compared to the Mega is obviously the Mega's got recyclable batteries and then um, you plug it in to charge up those batteries. So this doesn't appear to have a battery charger built in. So there's no way to charge your batteries inside the unit. So I don't know what the battery life is like at the moment. It's still good after using it for a week. So um, that looks better than the Mega's battery life. However, you've got to unscrew these and swap the batteries over. Um, or, you know, I've got some uh, battery chargers inside. So you've got to use those to change your battery, to recharge your batteries outside of the unit so depending on how long the battery life is on this unit that could be a bit of an, an annoyance i'll probably end up setting on my new van uh, my electric van which is coming soon check out the video i'll probably end up setting up some kind of battery chargers in, uh, inside there on the shelving um, i might need to use the 12 volt and an inverter to charge the batteries but yeah, I'll see about that, see how much current the uh, battery chargers draw. But uh, I would imagine I could at least run a little charger to recharge this battery, if not my Makita power tools. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do an update down the line to see how I'm getting on with it, whether I prefer it to the Mega. But yeah, overall, I'm happy with it. Um, the RCD test in particular... I really like because you can run the um yeah maybe i'll move this somewhere else so you you can see it so hopefully you can see that screen now um yeah when you i know it looks like it might look like it's flickering on the camera but it's actually not um in real life it's just how the camera's picking it up so Yet yeah, when you do the auto RCD test, you get all your results displayed on the screen. And that's nice, rather than having to flick through, you can uh, fill in your test certificate without picking the unit up. So that's nice. Like I say, you've got all your different types of RCDs on here to test. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. You can change your, jump between your RCDs, and then obviously the different types of testing down here. So. Um, without looking at the manuals, I found it very easy to use, very quickly adapted to everything. Um, it's all pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, overall, 
pretty happy. Just my only concern really is this battery life um, thing and how awkward it's going to be taking out the batteries every time or how inconvenient, I suppose, because I'm pretty lazy. So um, when it comes to charging batteries, I like to be able to just get to a customer as if it's low, plug it in and charge it. By the way, this video is not sponsored by QTech in any way. Um, I just, you know, after looking at a few different testers, this is the, the one I wanted to go for. And I thought it might be useful for people to see what it's like to use. So I hope the video was useful. If it was, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos. If you're considering switching energy suppliers, make sure you check out our Octopus referral code. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.